Hello everyone, I would like to welcome to the course Demand Planning and to end guide. This is my fifth course on Udemy and I'm very happy to start this. Let us get started with the very first lesson which is Demand Management. Demand Management is uh, quite often confused with Demand Planning and we'll be discussing the exact definition of what Demand Management is. Let us get started right away. Here is the definition of uh, demand management by Gartner. Gartner is one of the leading uh, consulting firm, consulting firm in supply chain. It's known for its um, benchmarking in supply chain, and of course, in other domains as well, IT, uh, HR. But yeah, supply chain is one of the prominent one. So let us see uh, the definition given by the Gartner. Demand planning is the development of a consensus driven demand plan that optimizes the balance between market opportunity and supply network capability so here this is very important optimizing the balance between the market opportunity and supply network capability so basically the point is to get the consensus or to come to a final plan between the market opportunity and supply network capacity. Market opportunity is basically the demand what a customer is putting and supply network capability is um, ability of the organization to support that plan, how much we can produce. So let us take two examples. So first example is the semiconductor industry. industry. Very booming industry, very high demand of semiconductors. So much so that all the companies together, all the, the complete semiconductor industry together is not able to fulfill the customer demands. You must have heard the news, uh, many automotive uh, manufacturing site halting down just because of unavailability of one small uh, semiconductor piece which comes by you know, just 10 to 20 dollars. So this is the case where market opportunity is very high. Market opportunity is very high, there are a lot of customers demanding but supply network supply is less you can't support it so the demand planning comes here now the demand planning need to prioritize which customers to give um, priority and uh, how much we have exactly which is our strategic customer uh, how much allocation i can do for each of the customers so these are the uh, decisions will be taken by demand planning now let us take the second example where um, you have a very high supply the supply is very high um, and the market demand is very less so in such cases uh, now demand planning team again needs to see how they can um, you know the use that supply or can do maximum uh, sales of the supply by giving discounts or probably by reducing the production or how they can convert to one product to one product to another similar product uh, sales opportunities so all those things also falls into this case so this is basically balancing of uh, two functions which is uh, not two functions uh, two opportunities uh, one is market opportunity and uh, supply opportunity okay going further uh, demand planning enables organizations to make more accurate demand forecast so demand forecast or demand forecasting is a part of demand management demand forecast for a product or service not necessarily it has to be only for the product which you can see physically it can be also for the services increasing their efficiency in producing and delivering the product to the customer satisfaction so what do you mean by customer satisfaction so customer is satisfied when the customer gets the product at right time right place right quantity and with right quality so all those things uh, not all those things with the quality uh, the logistics and uh, quantity not everything would be taken care of the demand management but here demand management plays a pivotal role uh, influencing all those functions or playing a central uh, central role influencing all those functions so that customer uh, does get uh, satisfied with the service of the organization so that's basically the definition given by the Gartner now I have one diagram um, which is uh, 
that taken from apex dictionary uh, which talks about the positioning of different function uh, in supply chain end to end and where they are situated how they influence the full plan on a higher level so let us see this so first it start the starting point is the demand which is demand management if you see the first block so demand management demand management gets input from the forecasting second is from the drp uh, drp is nothing but uh, we get exact requirements from our distribution center maybe our retailers or uh, customers who see or the system sees how much uh, how much inventory is uh, need to be replenished how much inventory is already sold out so this drp helps and it creates demand that okay um, our customer who always needs 1000 units and is inventory has only 500 units under the month so this would create a 500 unit demand then second is forecast uh, so forecast is basically depending upon the historical trends seasonality cyclic demand considering all those things the forecast input would be given to the demand management team so this have this all these activities demand activities has to be uh, input or the starting point of the supply chain now this inputs dollars and dollars or in values go to the um, strategic planning team or business planning team. it's a higher level uh, this is uh, management level uh, discussion um, they are higher level where they only see in terms of values uh, how much millions or uh, how much millions of uh, sales we are going to have how much lakh crores of sales we are going to have now on aggregate level input is, uh, is given to the snop team that further, further goes to the uh, master scheduling or master production schedule now after input is uh, given here they have uh, a plan with them which which is checked with supply side uh, with resource planning rough cut capacity planning so here we check the availability of the uh, raw materials the availability of manpower uh, machine availability uh, warehouse capacity so all those things are checked here uh, how much we can supply and the output of this is two things one is the production activities um, how much production we can do and second is the purchasing so if uh, certain products or certain raw materials we need to purchase which are falling short here will be purchased from here so this one input is PR which is purchase request and second is the production order. so this is the overall flow of the full planning how it is goes. it's a very important diagram and uh, very nicely explained and yeah we are going to discuss we'll be discussing the first part in this lesson um, about demand management how it functions and how things are happening here on to some extent we may also touch the snop planning um, in some organization yeah, it is indeed a part of um, demand team uh, snop or, or they work very closely the snop sometimes is working you know very uh, very much into the future and demand management horizon is quite close and yeah there is a, there is a high possibility that we'll be touching the, upon the snop as well now let us talk about uh, the hierarchy of demand management so demand management includes demand planning ma marketing management and crp which is customer relationship management this is basically the hierarchy uh, this is not what is for, uh, followed in all organizations sometimes these these can be the parallel uh, parallel functions not necessarily under the demand management uh, but yeah these these are the functions which work very closely uh, with each other to uh, to give a customer the higher level of uh, satisfaction and they have their kpis uh, very overlapping their their activities their functions uh, uh, they, are, they are overlap a lot and yes for for the academic purpose for understanding purpose we'll, we'll take this hierarchy um, in in our discussion in which the demand planning uh, marketing management and customer relationship management they falls under uh, demand management itself so in next few lessons we'll be talking about these three demand planning marketing management and customer relation, uh, relationship, relationship management so that's it for this lesson Thank you and have a nice day ahead.